I can say car park instead of car park. I know. Jackie Weaver, you are a national treasure. Oh, thanks. You really are. You've been acting for over 50 years. 57. <gasps> No, 50. 1962, I did my first job. It's What's unbelievable. It? But I feel like your character, that you just get better and, and more demand and more recognition the older you get, which doesn't often happen, certainly in Hollywood. Have you been kind of surprised by this, you know, the fact that your career just gets stronger and better when so many amazing actors don't experience that? Well, America was a huge surprise to me. I didn't expect to be welcomed with open arms. Mm -hmm. It speaks to the generosity of Americans mm -hmm. and the Amer American culture that they're so willing to take on someone new and unknown. Um, and it's something I never chased, you know, it just happened to me. But I I'm, was never discontented with my career in Australia. Oh, I always yeah. had enough work. I was never really... Um, but I worked mostly in theatre, yeah. you know, I've done, somebody told me it's 73 plays, somebody else told me it's 91, but I tried to count and I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I think over about 50, <laughs> you just say a lot of plays, that's yes. incredible. And I've done 46 films now, so, and I've got no complaints really about what happened to me in Australia. I would have been happy to, you know, finish my career in Australia when I, but now the whole world gets to enjoy you, but, which is well, very exciting. Well, at least West Hollywood does, where I live. <laughs> That's really good. And other places. What advice would you give the younger version of yourself? Because I think there's so much, you know, that we, as we learn and grow and suddenly oh, this film. You know what I would tell Jackie? Yeah. I would say, stop worrying so much about your appearance. Don't worry about how you look. I look back on old photos of myself and I think, you didn't look so bad. And you know, we, as young women, we worry so much about our faces, our mm. bodies. Yeah. Um, we are all meant to be here. Mm. We, you, oh. we worry too much about appearance. I get appearance. chills when I hear that, because a lot, lot of women put their dreams on hold until they look perfect, and yeah. what, is, what does that even mean, right? And yeah, perfection is meaningless. It's somebody else's mm. construct. It, you, yeah. you just got to be satisfied with what you have, unless you really got something odd about you, like, you know, an ear in the middle of your forehead. That Which most even don't. that would be handy. <laughs> you could make a whole career out of that. Um, you know, what I love about your character in this film is you are unashamedly sexy and sexual, and we don't see that of a woman over, you know, who's living in a retirement village. They're often not portrayed as vibrantly sexy, and you say this funny line that your two talents are poker and... Poking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of women over a certain age feel that they they feel invisible. How do we change that so they still we embrace and feel like you could be sexy at any age? I think I think it's in the person. If a, if if some women aren't interested in sex when they're over sixty, then fair enough. That's their business. You have to be true to yourself. Yeah. But by the same token, um, if there's a raving randy woman like Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> going around with those hideous outfits. What about those outfits I had to wear? I thought that was hilarious. You were like telling thank you wardrobe department for that. <laughs> that so but they were so right for the character. They were perfect. And um, you know, when when Zara Hay said we want you to play the gregarious, extroverted one, I said, Oh, when I when she told me the story I thought she'd want me to be the sad, lonely one, you know, <laughs> Diane. Really? Yeah. Um, I said, sure, I'll give that a shot. I don't think I've ever smiled so much in a film in my whole life because <laughs> Cheryl's so cheerful. She <laughs> you do it so well. It was so fun and, and just very empowering to see and see the female friendships you know, that you guys form. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful friendship that develops mm. that's, because they're so different. They're so polar opposite. Mm. And Diane, of course, is adorable. The whole world adores her. Yeah. Well, Me we too. adore you. We adore you. So thank you, Jackie. Oh, Love thanks. Oh, Australia. Yeah.